Good day everyone. This is Marie Technological Institute of Davao Occidental Incorporated, a TESDA accredited school which offers dressmaking NC2. Today, we will release the video for our dressmaking tutorial, which will cover the four units of competencies as prescribed by TESDA based on the training regulation. The first release, which will be shown today, is focused on the unit of competency one, particularly the first two learning objectives. The first learning objective is plan garment design, and the second learning objective is take clients' body measurements. Together with me today is the other pillar of Marie Technological Institute of Davao Occidental in the person of Mr. Jomari Borges Datulaita. He will be performing with us the first unit of competency which will focus the first two learning objectives under UC1. Under learning objective 1, we will be performing to you the blouse and pants which will be used for school uniform or for office uniform. In taking client's body measurements, we need to take more or less 12 body measurements. And these are the following. Full length, figure, shoulder, arm length, arm muscle, arm tight, or arm girth. These are these three terms are just the same. And another one is arm hole. Then for this another circumferential measurements are the following bust, waist, and the hip. And the last circumferential measurement is the neck. Then another measurement also which will be added to the mentioned body measurements are the following. The bust distance and the bust point. This time, we will show to you on how to perform the mentioned body measurements. In taking the measurement for a figure, we'll have to place the tape measure into the shoulder neck down to the body curve of the client if the body curve of the client is not is not so clear we'll have to imagine that the figure will start from the shoulder neck down to the waist of the client next is the full length full length will be measured from the shoulder line or from the shoulder neck down to the desired measurement of the client okay we'll proceed to the shoulder in taking shoulder measurement it must start from the left shoulder bone to the right shoulder bone arm length arm length must start from the shoulder bone down to the desired length of the client desired arm length of the client in this case, the arm length of the client is 8. Next, arm girth, arm muscle, or arm tight. This is a circumferential measurement. And in every circumferential measurement, don't forget to insert the two fingers just to serve as an allowance. Next is the arm hole. In taking client's body measurement for arm hole, remember that Again, we'll have to insert two fingers because this is a circumferential measurement. And in this case, our client's armhole is 19. Now, let's proceed to the bust circumferential measurement. In taking client's body measurement, particularly in the bust circumference, remember that this time it's no longer two fingers that we'll have to insert at the back of our client. It must be four fingers. Another measurement is the waist circumference. In taking client's body measurement for the waist circumference, the tape measure must be placed on the body curve of the client. In this case, the waist measurement for our client is 32. Another is the hip circumference. In taking hip circumference of the client, we'll have to perform the same procedure as we did in our waist circumference. And in this case, the client's hip circumference is 39. 
Next is the bust distance. Now, in getting the bust distance of the clients, it must start from the center of the bust right down to the center of the bust left. Next is the bust point height. In getting the measurement for the client's bust point height, it must start from the shoulder neck down to the center of the bust. In this case, our client's bust point height is 10. The last measurement to be taken is the neck circumference. As shown in the video, the circumferential measurement of the neck of our client is 17. Ladies and gentlemen, those were the vital measurements that must be taken from the clients in order to come up with necessary measurements which will be used in the pattern making. We are now ready to proceed the LO3, 4, and 5. And of course, that will be shown in the next release of our video. So please, watch out for the next release. Thank you very much.